Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christy with Van Otten Company. It's Monday, May 1st. I'm gonna go over the markets with you for the day here. Uh, looks like finally this market's paying attention. That weather forecast that we thought would gain some attention last week wasn't able to do it. So coming into this week, gap uh, actually higher overnight trade into today, finding a bit of strength specifically in Chicago and Minneapolis, or Chicago and Kansas City wheat. Uh, Chicago up 23 cents, Kansas City up 28 cents, Minneapolis wheat up eight cents, uh, corn market up 11 cents bean market up 14 cents so a lot of strength coming through and that has to do with a couple different things so starting with the fact that managed money is near record short holdings in majority of positions so uh, they are very close to record short holdings in corn this is the first time in history that they have uh, been short all seven grain and oil seed contracts at the same time so this is just telling you how aggressive they've been in selling commodities pair that with the fact that uh, this system that went through over the last weekend provided a lot of moisture for a lot of areas and specifically Illinois. That's going to be the big one is that they've been planting corn pretty aggressively. A lot of those areas got tons of moisture that they might be looking at some replant issues moving forward. And it's not so much that the corn won't get planted because we are in a forecast for the six to 10 day and eight to 14 day to look hot and dry, giving you uh, a lot of chance to get this corn and beans planted. The fact is that if they're replanting, the further you push it out, there's yield drag regardless of what the weather is like this summer just because you don't have that time and so you're starting to get that attention to the market that it could be a little bit and that is supportive towards these grain markets so those two are the biggest factor of where you found that support like I said six to ten day eight to fourteen day forecast looks favorable looks hot and dry should be able to get it planted uh, North Dakota started rolling heavily on spring wheat that's why it wasn't up as high as Kansas City and Chicago wheat um, but overall the trend is just feeling a little bit friendly around this market force right now With with corn higher, you are seeing a little bit of pressure come into the cattle market. Cattle market has been able to gain strength, specifically last week, huge gains there. A lot of that came on the heels of weights being a little bit on the lower side of things. Uh, so today coming in just a little bit lower, live cattle down just shy of a buck, feeders down a buck, lean hogs down about 72 cents. And then those outside markets, limited movement, crude down 50 cents, dollar and Dow both steady. So moving forward, what we're gonna be watching is going to see planting progress. That comes out this afternoon. Uh, that's really not going to be the biggest one it's next week that's the big one this one's from last Wednesday to Wednesday where a lot of planting probably did get done um so it's going to be next week that's a big one and then also just watching to see if you can stay supported after this massively higher day um, really with the limited movement that we have gotten in these grains it doesn't take quick from going to oversold to overbought situations on a technical chart so watching that as well i do have to close with the disclaimer trading in futures and options of all risk loss may not be suitable for all producers have a great day